I see, I see the votes, guys. It's got up to 69 votes. Entropy cannot be overcome. No, because nature is way to progress is 75%. And yes, because gravity, 25%. So there's still people that think uh, gravity can overcome entropy. Wow. Mm. Bacon, are you under that uh, influence that uh, gravity can overcome entropy? No, I honestly don't understand what that means. Um, I think they're separate things. No. Entropy is just um, how much usable energy a system has. Um, and gravity is just uh, either an attractive force or an effect of geodetics in, in relativity. Well, let's put it this way. Um, the gas pressure in an open system would disperse into the available system. So expansion of gases, that's entropy. With a spontaneous process, correct? No, uh, I don't think expansion of gases is what entropy is. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, literally MIT also teaches expansion of gases and entropy. That's a, there's whole lectures on this. Right, oh, I've, I've seen a lot of people, see a lot of physicists explaining entropy. Yeah. And it was never about uh, pressure. It was always about the amount of energy, the amount of useful energy on the system. So, for example, uh, if you have, um, I don't know, if you have a water tank and you have hot water mixed with uh, cold water, the entropy is low uh, because there's a difference in temperature spread on the water. If, uh, but with time, the pressure is going to average out in the whole water and the entropy is going to be maximized. So there's no way you can use energy there anymore. Yeah, it's gonna equal, it's gonna seek equilibrium. So the temperature is going to equalize. Because yeah, the, uh, uh, entropy increases, which yeah, means but that temperature, less less usable energy. Yeah, but that temperature is always increasing in the universe, the surrounding system. Yeah, the entropy of the universe as, as a whole is increasing. It's yeah, so true. when it comes to with gas expansion, uh, thermal expansion it's just simply because of it uh, would have a um, spontaneous process there's no entropy uh, no uh, temperature change or anything it's literally just the gas dispersing free energy into the surrounding system yeah if, if you have Jules free energy yeah, if you for example put a balloon in a vacuum yeah and um, and you pop the balloon yeah. The entropy is going to increase as the gases uh, disperse. That's an example of entropy. Uh, that's not the definition of entropy. Like uh, entropy is related to energy, not to, to gases. As, although gases, like gas pressure, if there's a pressure difference, you can use that as to pr produce energy. For example, if you, if you have a balloon uh, full of air and the air wants to go out, you can use that to produce energy. You can, for example, uh, let the air blow and put a fan there and generate energy from it. Like there's there's usable energy in, in that yeah, system, which means work. entropy is still yeah, more. Work. Yeah, because yeah. you get work, but yeah, but still, when it comes to spontaneous processes, there's no energy change, no temperature change. It's simply just this dispersion of the spontaneous res result. So. Like when you hold a balloon with your fingers, when it's blown up and you let it go. The gas is just simply dispersing out the balloon, correct? Yes, it's being pushed by the, the, the pressure inside of the balloon. Great, so it's the same. Just like when you have, yeah. like, it, what, like on Earth, it's claimed to be an open system inside space, which would be an ultra, would be a, a, a super low vacuum, correct? The ultra low vacuum. Mm-hmm. So it's two separate systems. Now, what happens when you have an open system that's got a higher pressure in it? That depends on the, what's, the, what's the system. You would have Earth in this place. You would have an open system and you would have a spontaneous process take occur. So therefore, there wouldn't be any gas pressure to even create the pressure gradient. It would literally just fill the available space. Yeah, but the, the, the thing about filling the available spaces when you're absent to other forces. Yeah. If I introduce a force, 
it's no longer going to evenly disperse in the available space, just like it doesn't happen on the surface of the Earth. Yeah, like, well, uh, well, what forces what the, forces can overcome entropy? Well, it's not about overcoming entropy. That's uh, exactly what it is, because you're saying you can overcome it if you have a force present. So what force can overcome? overcome? Like, uh, yeah. en entropy is maximized. Entropy is maximized when you can't get energy out of the system anymore. So, for example, if you're in a room, and the pressure inside of the room is exactly the same everywhere, the entropy isn't maximum yet. The entropy will be maximum when the when there is a gradient when it's the, equilibrium in pressure of the room, because that's the natural entropy is at maximum when it's reached equilibrium. Yeah. So if you have the same pressure on top on the top of your room. And the same pressure in the bottom room that's not in equilibrium yet because we know it would form a gradient yeah but you're because missing pressure. you're missing the point earth is supposed to be an open system inside this vacuums of space separate system there would be a spontaneous process that means that the gas will just disperse into the available volume it's not it in uh, entropy will will increase as it seeks equilibrium there's not going to be any temperature change or any uh, kinetic energy change or nothing. It's literally just dispersing. Joule's free expansion of gases. That's how it works. Yeah, but it disperses when that, that's what uh, uh, gets it to equilibrium. So if you if you disperse gas inside of a, of a chamber, it doesn't disperse evenly, right? It's going to have more gas in the bottom compared to the top, correct? Say again, I'm not really understanding. If you um, if you dis if you put gas inside of a chamber, yeah, it's not gonna it's not going to disperse evenly. You're gonna have more gas in the bottom compared to in the top, right? Well, that's false. Gas moves in all directions, not just downwards. Of course, it moves in all directions. That's that's true. Uh, it, that doesn't change the fact that. The pressure. In, in are you the saying? Are you saying there's di higher. Are there different densities of gas in that container? Yes. If the gas have the same temperature and it's denser in the bottom, then then it is also. No, but I'm saying, if you put, uh, are you putting more than one gas in the container? So there's densities of gases in no. that container, or is it just the no, same? No, let's say there's just nitrogen. Well, then why would there be more at the bottom? That is what we observe, and that's explained by the weight of the gas. No, you know, you, you, you're making a claim here. Yeah. You're making a claim. Why would there be gas conglomerated at the bottom of the container? It's the same gas. They're all moving in the same system. Yeah, well, you can, we can demonstrate. You can measure that. But no, uh, you can only calculate gas. Why that would happen. Can't measure gas. You can only calculate gas. Well, you can measure the pressure of the gas, can't you? Measure pressure, but you can only calculate the gas um, okay. no, like no, you so saying you saying it's it's pooling at the bottom of the container that's what you're saying yeah there's going to be more uh the gas going to be have a higher pressure in the bottom compared to the top like i said that's a claim please how would you demonstrate because that totally goes against gas behavior well, you can demonstrate that with a barometer you can do that with a phone some phones have barometers, you can actually test that yourself. You know, everything Everything you're literally talking about has containment to it. And your guys claim is there's yeah. no containment. And you're making a claim that gas would pool at the bottom of a container. When we're asking, okay, how would you uh, show us this? You're saying, because I can use a barometer. Yeah, that this is so, so you can have pressure everyone gradients. Have so you, you can have pressure gradients inside a container then. Yes, you have the same gradient that you have outside of the container. You also have inside of the container. It doesn't matter if you're inside or outside. Great. If you're on Earth, uh, there is a gradient of pressure uh, naturally. And contained or not, you still have the gradient. Always contained. That's the issue. You guys are claiming there's no containment. That's why we have pressure gradients. Is that not the claim? Oh, we can talk about whether or not that, that there is a need for a container. But yeah, I'm you just literally explained, you literally just told us <laughs> you need a container. Oh, well, what, I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is that this wasn't the subject. The subject was uh, 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 entropy. Yeah, and entropy 
of expansion of gases requires a container, systems. If the one system is open, it will disperse into the surrounding system. There's no force you can acquire to stop it from dispersing. Well, I didn't say you, you, you want to stop it from dispersing, right? It, it doesn't disperse even, right? But that's what I'm saying. So remember, your guy's heliocentric model is the face of fact belief that you're saying gravity is holding the gas off of going in to the surrounding system. So, okay, in other words, overcoming entropy. No, that's that's not going against entropy. That's it just is. changing the scenario. Yeah, that's, I mean, entropy is maximized when it's in equilibrium. If there's no gravity, then and the equilibrium of the gases would be just and we have forever. And we have pressure gradient, so it's not in equilibrium. That is in equilibrium. No, pressure gradient is not equilibrium. Equilibrium of entropy would be it all. Wasn't. No, it would not be in equilibrium with the with the pressure gradient. It's literally macrostates, the different why, macrostates. Why does entropy? Why doesn't the if it's in equilibrium? If it's in equilibrium, there would be no more macrostates to be possible. It will just be at its set uh, mixture. So that means everything will be mixed evenly throughout the system at equilibrium, not pressure gradients. That totally contradicts what entropy is. Because you're still giving it different yes, macro stats it can go we, to. That's where we disagree on on the meaning of entropy. Um, but if you if you have a, a like a just put a, a phone inside of a chamber and with the barometer open, and if you flip the chamber upside down. Yeah. Containment. Gas pressure gradient in containment. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> some sometimes in exhaust systems on, on race cars, you need to build some back pressure uh -huh. in, order, in order to have more power, and that's kind of an open system. Yep. But you squash the you squash it so it has some back pressure come back, but it's still escaping. Right. A little bit. Yeah. But it's just having some back pressure because it's bouncing back to the system but yeah Eric Bacon at the end of the day you're disagreeing what gas pressure is um look we said earlier we put our response in element yeah I, oh yeah uh, I did try open it I was waiting for it to load okay let's quickly try listen to it as expansion into a vacuum Fundamentally involves an increase in entropy. Ah, uh, you got a problem. One, according to the fairy tale narrative, there's a vacuum surrounding your spinning ball space monkey. Number two, we obviously have gas pressure. Number three, the Earth is not a sealed container. Number four, the gas pressure is not expanding, is not not expanding into a vacuum. Ergo, the ball tart spinning space monkey Earth defies the laws of entropy. There we go. I hope, her, Bacon, you heard that. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone? Yeah. Oh. He also said, uh, Bacon mentioned gas has weight. Yeah, exactly. Gas is weightless. We didn't even get to that yet. But that's what I was trying to say. Is they, <laughs> they can only calculate it. They can't measure uh, gas. And I was going to ask, okay, okay, how do you measure gas? They would say, you take a container, <laughs> you measure it on a scale, you weigh it on a scale, and then you add the gas, and then weigh it again. So it's calculations, not weight. Congratulations. Oh, man. But that's what I said. He literally goes against uh, what entropy is there. He tried to redefine entropy. Yeah.